Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. So my son Ben got this 55 gallon tank and he wants to stock it with male peacock cichlids. Now this is not a how to set up a all male peacock cichlid tank because I've actually never done that before. Now I do keep African cichlids and bunas and shell dwellers, but I've actually never had peacocks before. So stay tuned, watch the video, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to pick up your 55 gallon? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're going to PetSmart. We're getting the top fin 55 gallon set. It was one third the price of the Fluval on sale, Boxing Day. Let's go. That's it, Ben. What do you think? Looks nice. Yeah. All right, let's get this thing out of here. We stopped in at Rogers Aquatics for some crushed coral substrate. So this is the top fin hang on back filter that came with Ben's tank. Now we may upgrade this filter in the future, but for right now, this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna get it running on this tank that already has African cichlids in it. This is Pseudotrophia solosii, so it's already got the high pH. We're gonna put some crushed coral in the back here. Ben's got a bag right there. So that bag that Ben's got, we're gonna put some of this coral in the back of the filter, and then we're gonna fill this up with water, and we're gonna leave it running for a couple weeks to get some nice beneficial bacteria in these filter pads. Perfect. And a little bit on the other side too. And this way we're gonna have one side. So we're gonna have the water constantly flowing over this fresh coral. You don't want to run these things dry. There we go. We'll have this running for two weeks and then we'll put it on the back of Ben's tank. Okay, tank's in the room. On the stand. We're gonna start filling this up with our crushed coral. All right, do it now. Don't just pour it in one spot. <laughs> oh, you're doing good, Amelia. Yeah. We're getting the tank all nice and scaped up. Ashley, Amelia, and Ben are doing a great job. What we're going to do is we're going to put some water in and then we're going to take the water out because it's going to be all cloudy. I find this is just easier than trying to rinse it. So that's the method we're going to do. I've set the heater to 78. Okay, so I am changing my mind about one thing. I did say I was just going to use the one... Hang on back, we are gonna add this Fluval C3 that was on Ben's 20 gallon because that tank is now on the sponge filter system downstairs. We're back at Rogers Aquatics. They have a great selection of African cichlids. They had some male Lake Malawi peacocks. So we actually cleaned them out of what they have. It's gonna be something that looks like fish that will eventually look like this. Okay, we're gonna add some stability. All right, what do we got? Okay, these are the bicolor 500s and the bicolor 500. Let's try and catch them on camera. These are all from Rogers. That's the lemon jack, which there you go. Yeah. The lemon jake, I think I called it a lemon jack earlier. Lemon jake. And that is the albino eureka red. That is the albino eureka red, sometimes called the fairy cichlid. Okay, so we went to, okay, so we went to Victor's to get these. We would have rather done it all on the same day, but it's less than 24 hours. And Ben's got a couple of strawberry peacocks. So 
on the strawberry peacocks. And he's got three male Nagaras, all bred by Victor. That's the flame tail peacock. There's the flame tail. Okay, we just picked these up from a breeder. There's one hybrid in there. We're not looking for hybrids, but that was just a throw in, so we took it. And we got a couple of OBs. So we'll get these acclimatized and get them in the tank. There is the hybrid. And there is an OB. So here's what it looks like as of right now. We will be adding some more fish as they come available. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.